here's another podcast from the Pod Bros Network. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Jean Pod Van Dam Cast. In the studio, it is Jeff and John with our good pal Dan, our special guest. You have heard him on the last episode, episode four. We are reviewing the Time Cop series. This is episode five of that series, entitled Rocket Science, <laughs> October 20th, 1997. And let's see, is there anyone different in here? Oh, Amy Fuller was in this? Oh, wow. Who's that? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Allison I thought Rice. Amy Fuller was the name of the character. It was the name of the character. <laughs> I got my I got Amy Fuller confused with Amy yeah, Fuller. Of, uh, like, oh, wow. Because, I mean, look, taking a quick peek at this, yeah. does that not look like Amy Fuller? All women look alike to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you... Uh, welcome to the. This is the last episode of Jean Pod Van Dam cast. I know. I'm. My apologies. Allison Rice played uh, Amy, Amy Fuller. Poehler. Yep. No yeah. relation. Uh, nope. Not at all. Uh, Who played see, Hitler? Anything. Same actress. <laughs> Heidi Shantz played Hannah Schmidt, but she doesn't have an IMD photo. She was actually in Van Dam films. Oh wow! She was Aaron in Universal Soldier. So we do have a six Holy degrees shit, of Van Damme. Look at that yeah. connection. This is why we do this, folks. This is why we look up the cast here. Doesn't Hitler play himself in this? Uh, yeah, Hitler. They they, did, they, they went back, back in time. time. <laughs> I mean, they have the equipment. They might as well. <laughs> Let's see. That's uh, probably why they got canceled, as you know, the budget went way too over. Too much. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Salvatore Zero played Dr. Reinecker, who was the, the baddie. He was a dick. He was also <laughs> in Big Stan as Patterson. He was in Captain America, the Winter Soldier, as French Pirate Number 1. Oh, no kidding. He I remember him. French... So he's, that's another connection to Hitler. Yep. Yeah. When does it stop? <laughs> he was French boy number one in Natural Born Killers as well. Wow, that's was, actually that's quite the uh, filmography. He was in Behind Enemy Lines as Secretary of the French State. Is uh, he French? No, not at all. <laughs> that is weird because he was the baddie in this, and he didn't speak in French at all in the yeah, rest I know, of the films. Kind of weird, actually. No, he was in Behind Enemy Lines, the uh, 2017 TV movie as Secretary of State. There was James. a Behind Enemy Lines 2017 movie. Apparently. Huh. He was in Real Rob as Frank, the uh, Rob Schneider uh, TV series. When are we going to review that? Ooh, Dance Camp, Ivan. Yeah, I know, right? Rob Schneider <laughs> cast. The Schneider cast. cast, yes. <laughs> yes. He was uh, Mr. Stewart and Teen Wolf for two episodes. Justified as John in one episode. Let's see. What else? Johnny French, yeah. Revenge as Sergei Lavosky. <laughs> okay, so like 90210, the 2008 remake, Mady oh, Herman. Oh, so good. So good. I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> Man, that's too much history. Too too much. Sebastian Tillinger played Kreutzer. Chuck Butto played Carl. It's <laughs> a funny name. Guido Forweiser played Sports Guard. Where's Hitler in this, man? That's what I always ask when I'm watching Nick... a show. <laughs> Where's Hitler at? <laughs> oh, Tony Papenfuss played Adolf Hitler. Uh, he was also in Escape from New York as the theater assistant. Really? Yeah. Firefox is Grew <gasps> Officer. He was in Fire... Oh, that movie's awesome. Oh, man. I knew you would know that movie. <laughs> I fucking knew it, man. It's a great movie. He was in I Am Not a Serial Killer as Ron the Corner. Okay, I just watched that. That's with uh, Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, that's not bad. Really weird ending. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but... Well, you can just go back in time and stop. I'm going to stop from myself from saying... <laughs> Ow! Oh, don't touch me! <laughs> it's out of my hands now. Welcome to the Jean Pod Van Dan <laughs> Castle, Dan and Jeff. A little time dilation, uh, a bit of a ripple. Yeah, we're going to go back in time and add me to every episode. <laughs> <laughs> he played um, How to Kill, in How to Kill a Mockingbird 2002. This makes no sense. How to Kill a Mockingbird. That's Hitler. a lot of mockingbirds. <laughs> he, was, he was Hitler in How to Kill a Mockingbird. 
So what's the difference between To Kill a Mockingbird and How to is How to Kill a Mockingbird the prequel? Uh, how to Kill a Mockingbird is a drama comedy family film, a film about trusting your instincts, and it offers this advice: listen to your inner voice. You never know who it might be. It could be Hitler. It could be <laughs> was he Hitler? Directed by Joe Sweet, writer Joe Sweet. Was Hitler the voice? That's Hitler all. was the voice this whole time. <laughs> it needs strong leadership. Uh, he was Daryl in Coach, the 1989 TV series. Wow. He was D- in Daryl Murph- Hitler. Or- <laughs> Dear Lord, <laughs> I kid you fucking not. Murphy Brown, Hitler secretary. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has it uh, down. Oh, man. This typecasted poor bastard. Uh, <laughs> I'm an actor. I look a lot like Hitler. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek do? Deep Space Nine is yeah. Yeln. A job's a job. Yeln. Yep. Why Yeln? Oh, he was in Newhart, the TV series, the Bob that's, Newhart show, right? That's Hitler. That's Hitler. Yep. <laughs> And that's and Seinfeld is man number two, Hitler man. Number Hitler two. man number two, yeah. yeah. Hitler number what two. What a guy! <laughs> There's more than yeah. one Hitler. He was the second Hitler. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a Seinfeld episode filled with Hitlers, like a Hitler localized contest, and Jerry somehow finds himself there, and he's yeah, like, and he wins it or something. Yeah. <laughs> What's with all these Hitlers? And then oh. Newman, <laughs> Newman comes in, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. That's Bulk our in. review. This is what happens when we review beer before we review the yeah. episodes. <laughs> Whole bunch of uh, I definitely we probably use Hitler at least at least twenty five percent more than we do in the normal review. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how many Van Damme films include Hitler though? Not know, enough. Right? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> uh, director was Robert Singer. Writers Mark Verhaden and Mark Verhaden. Wow. Yeah. Twins? Yeah, doing doing wears, double time there. Wears many hats. <laughs> uh, no no trivia or anything. The other Mark like for that. Hayden was from the future, so. Yep. I am you from the future. <laughs> if that you are me idea. from the future. <laughs> that was a great idea for an episode. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, sweet. It won't get canceled, I swear. <laughs> so it's 1944, Berlin, Germany, September 6th. A guy walks in from the future. It's called a laptop. What is this IBM? <laughs> the Fuhrer shows up. The guy is telling him all about the computer and then gives him info on the atomic bomb. He walks by. Uh, we're at the TEC. Genghis, big fan, Easter says to him as he's arrested. So, yeah, they were, so Genghis Khan's a time Genghis, criminal. Yeah, I know. I had no fucking clue. I always suspected, but it's nice to get some uh, clarity. Clarity in it, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. That makes sense why we're all related to him. <laughs> Yikes, Jack gets a video voicemail from his girlfriend. All, all of a sudden, he has a girlfriend, even though we're led to believe that he has this love interest with Claire. Yeah. Uh, she's basically telling him not to call back. Uh, Mac tries to give him advice, but he's like, I'm not good at that crap. <laughs> so I think of Mr. Pinciotti saying that. They then find out about the ripples on the board. Mac needs the best. Jack is the best. But Jack doesn't want to do it, but... Uh, he doesn't he speak reluctantly... the fucking language. Yeah, I know. He's right? like, I don't yeah. speak German. He's like, I don't speak German. I don't know anything He's about like, hey, this. I'm horribly unqualified for this mission. <laughs> but Jack, I need you for this. You're the for best. My daughter. You're the best. Yeah, like, is there no German Bureau of Time Travel that... I know, right? <laughs> well, I mean, this is 2007. I think we all assume that uh, America just basically took over the rest of the world, right? Yeah. 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 So that, that I guess in some ways that makes sense. True, right? Everyone speaks English. We just we just come in America it up and save yep. the day at the end. So, uh, God bless it. That's why this <laughs> show is so good. I noticed that uh, Jack has been kissing all these women in these episodes. Yes. Then we find out that he has a girlfriend. Well, you know, you deserve that, you dick. Well, I mean, if it's a different <laughs> timeline, it uh, count. different timeline, different zip code, yeah. right? That goes beyond. <laughs> yeah. right? Back in the forties, they weren't dating. Yeah. Oh, that's he, right. You were going steady. There you go. Plus, like, yeah, yeah. He like kissed you a, even, I you kissed a 90 year old on the mouth. I mean, like, that's true. <laughs> you know, some if, old lady. If you said that to me versus, I, you know, I would, do, oh, okay, never mind then. It was probably on her, right? It's her fault. <laughs> uh, yeah. So they uh, download all this Nazi propaganda in Jack's head. Yeah. Uh, so that he has an idea right before he takes off. But they don't download the German language. No, not the German language. <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. So he just knows a bunch of Nazi stuff. Yeah, but yeah. Not... We're going to give you a bunch of Nazi <laughs> history, but we're not going to give you the German language. <laughs> so, with no risk that he's going to go back, like, hey, you know what? They had it all figured out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, who 
you guys shit. really got your shit together, <laughs> huh? Hold, hold on a second, right? I'm okay. I'm safe. All right, let's get. I'm just gonna forward. stay here. So we're in Berlin, 1944. He falls on a table with everyone drinking around him. He knocks out a dude and takes off as a guy shoots at him. He pulls the guy in and steals his uniform, the old Looney Tunes style yeah. of doing that. Fits perfectly. Yep. It fits exactly perfectly. Just like uh, Indiana it's, Jones. It's yep. a time period. Yep. <laughs> I, uh, thought, I thought people were smaller back then. They were. Jack's a very small time cop. Oh, yeah. Maybe when you travel through time, it shrinks you a little bit. Yeah, he's like Mickey Rooney in that. <laughs> It's like going Mickey to space. Rooney reference. Yeah, exactly. Going the opposite of going to space, right? Space yeah. makes you taller. No, space makes travel. you shorter. Does what? it? I thought oh, space oh, makes oh. you taller. It, de- it degenerates your bones. It's, I that's thought why it de- they call, de- degener- call it space and time. That's right. It's the opposite. What? I'm making all this up. <laughs> okay, I know Chris. No, Hepfield, going to space does make you shorter. Even. I thought it makes you taller. I'm pretty nope. sure it makes you taller. I going, it, it makes you I'll taller bet you, for a little bit, right? And then you come back down. But when then, you come back to Earth, I want to say it shrinks you. No, you know you shrink. You shrink okay. from going into space. All right, Google. You're gonna. You're gonna. Does <laughs> I'm pretty sure like with the lack going... of gravity, your vertebrae separate a little bit and make you taller. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah, but your yeah. bones degenerate and you get shorter. But I also when you I was return, say yeah, when you right yeah, you when you return, you'll get your bones shorter. don't degenerate in space, do they? Yeah, you get osteoporosis radi- from your from the lack of gravity, from the lack of milk. <laughs> yeah. Space cows don't exist yet outside of Earthworm Jim. <laughs> <laughs> We're back from Earthworm Jim cast. Look at this cartoon. Google already knew what I was going to type in. Astronauts get a bit taller in space because of the disc of the spinal column. On Earth, the discs are slightly compressed due to get gravity. In space, that compression is no longer present, causing the disc to expand. The result, the spine lengthens and the astronaut is taller. It doesn't say that they get shorter. So um, astronauts get taller in space as the spine elongates, but they return to pre-flight height after a short time back on Earth. So they stay the same size. I could have sworn they shortened. Oh well. Uh, well, you know what? This I'll go back in time and rent me. This from isn't the that. NASA podcast. This is the Jean Pod Van Dam cast. <laughs> Still involves pods, though. Oh yeah, yeah. it's relevance. All right, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> That's it. You... So, anyways. So yeah, talking about an episode that does not involve space travel it has rockets. Time travel. Well, it it would Doesn't... if Hitler would have won. No, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Nazis Here Dan goes space. again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I've only been referred to as Dan during this podcast. <laughs> Dan Danielson over here. <laughs> with Jeff Jefferson, Dan Danielson, and John yeah. Johnson. So we see that uh, Jack's looking for Hannah Schmidt. He starts tailing her but loses her real fast. She pulls a gun on him, but he convinces her that he's working for the Allies. They talk about Hitler getting desperate and building a big weapon since he's losing the war. Typical Jack, date stuff. Yep, exactly. Jack wants to get her on the hip. Wants her to get him on the inside. Oh, yeah. So they they come up with a plan. They sneak into the whatever German headquarters uh, where they pull the old hot tea spilled on the hand trick, thanks to Hannah. He takes out two guards and uh, that want his papers. And then he walks into a room where there happens to be a dude in one of those cut-off muscle sweaters with a picture of the queen on it. Yeah, and he has like three ear piercings. Yeah, and man. And then the Obviously gr- from the period. Yeah, definitely. The German guys shoot the dude in the sweater and kill him. Jack has to travel back in time. But when he travels back at the TAC, it's all Nazi occupied. <laughs> we see that uh, Fuller, his girlfriend at the time, for whatever reason, Wait, in this she episode. Was, she wasn't the girlfriend. She was the substitute partner, right? Or I thought Fuller was like was his Fuller the girlfriend? girlfriend slash partner. I'm very excited to hear that you guys are also very confused about this. Because there's like the substitute partner... Right, Fuller. Fuller was supposed to be it, but I also thought did Fuller the... was the same as his. Oh, I thought so they. Confusing. I thought they were made... they the same person. I thought they had. A... I should have been paying attention during you know, this time travel. We show. were too busy thinking about if you get t- taller or shorter in space. <laughs> so I was sorry. too busy yeah. thinking about where his normal partner was at this. Time. I know, right? Yeah, she well, took that... an episode okay. off. So let, let's take a break here for a second. I've already watched the whole the whole season. These episodes are in no particular order. Even though they came out in this order, like this is one of those shows that are like, ah, let's put this one here. <laughs> so there's like some backstory that we've just never gotten. Wow. And maybe this and is just one of those. And the show ended up uh, canceled Canceled, somehow. right? Well, I, I mean, I get because it. they said it was canceled because of ratings and ratings, all yeah. that stuff. And confusion. So and the, uh, the, someone went back and kind of makes sense it. to me is that 
if they were four episodes deep and the ratings just weren't there, yeah, you're going to want to jump the shark and go the to the best Nazi episode. Germany. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. That makes sense, actually. You're so right. maybe that's why they're out of order, but. Yeah, because there's like two new characters. There's the other tech guy. That yeah, I know really... that other tech guy. Yeah. He's only there for that one episode, yeah. too. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well. Well. Like, we might get canceled. Let's go to Nazi Germany. Yeah, man. <laughs> Everyone hates the Nazis. This will be sure ratings boosters. Little did they know. So uh, Fuller wants him arrested, and uh, he knocks her out, makes the guard knock one of the other guys out, and then handcuff, handcuff himself to the bar. He sets the relaunch again while the Nazis shoot at him, and he goes back in time. He this time hits a roof and falls off of it, and falls onto a Nazi flagpole and hangs there, but gets through a circular window. With, like, a spotlight going over him, like, two times. There's, like, spotlights everywhere. Yeah, I know. One goes over him. I'm just like... It was a very... um, (laughs) It was almost like... uh, Oh, who was the other guy? Besides Charlie Chapman, who was the other guy back in the day? Hitler. Hitler, yeah. Charlie Hitler. No, not Benny Hill. Um, I got no help. It was Hitler. It was Hitler. Hitler did a bunch of Hollywood comedy films, too, back in the day, right? (laughs) Yeah, I remember. He looks funny on screen. Does a lot of gestures. <laughs> and the joys of editing. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the other? Oh, fuck. What's his silent name? Silent film person? Yeah, silent film. It was Hitler. It was Hitler. <laughs> it was the... <laughs> I would just assume his name was Andy. Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman. <laughs> Back in the day, yeah. Yeah. Andy Kaufman was a time criminal. That's why he his fans believe he's alive. <laughs> Oh, here's faces, but that's not Buster Keaton. Fucking Buster Keaton. That's right on the tip of my tongue. Is it Buster Keaton? Do you know Buster Keaton? Or are you fucking around? A little both. I'm I know familiar the with the name. Yeah, Literally. I know the name, but I could not tell you a single thing he's done. Yeah. He did silent films back in the day. He did he played silent Adolf films. Hitler. And I don't know Charlie Chapman played Adolf Hitler back in the day in The Great Dictator. The Great Dictator. Yeah, that's yeah. right. There you go. See, don't say this podcast never fucking taught you anything. That us astronauts <laughs> get taller when they're in space, shorter, and that uh, Charlie Chapman played Hitler, or at least the Great Dictator, and that Buster Keaton, like this, pays homage to a Buster Keaton, like hanging off the clock tower. Uh, that movie. was Back to the Future. So. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, Wrong this podcast is over. <laughs> So anyway, he gets into the circular window. He's uh, back where he started. He sees himself talking to the guy. The guy gets shot again. He's hiding. Make sure uh, we see that uh, Renneker, the guy says, uh, make sure I get my sneakers and earring back. So he planted that dude to wear the stuff Mm because he knew he was going to get shot up. And then uh, I just said to myself, there's a Brill Cream line here when he's talking about plutonium, a little dabble, do ya? Yeah. I was like, how many fucking people would understand that reference? I was trying to figure (laughs) out. Now in 2018, how many would understand versus back in 1997, how many people would understand a Brill Cream, a little dab will do ya? I thought that reference. was Dippity Do. It's Brill Cream. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Right? <laughs> Intentionally silent on that one. Well, yeah, right? So, I mean. I remember like, the slogan. A little dab will do ya. Yep. I remember Sinbad bringing it up in a stand-up uh Special. Oh, and, and Shazam? Yeah. <laughs> it was, yes, it was in Shazam. My favorite movie. <laughs> uh, and uh, Reinecker says, will you stop being a Nazi, such a Nazi? Oh, I forgot you are one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack tells Hannah the truth about everything. She tells him that they're planning to do it, the launch tomorrow. Reinecker wants his Reinecker Industries to succeed after this. He doesn't care about the war with Hitler. He just cares about himself. Which... I feel like there's other ways to go about making your business successful, like yeah, like predicting stock market outcomes. Ah, uh, spoilers in the uh, future episodes <laughs> there that you haven't watched. Oh, I guess I didn't need to make uh, the Nazis win World War II to be a successful yep, company. Exactly. So Jack sees Hannah having bad dreams in the next scene. He wakes her up, apologizes he can't get her the list of people she wanted because it would change history. That's something he does so on a consistent, constant He basis. can change it, but he can't make other people change it. I think that's that's where we draw the line, right? No, it makes no sense. No, I don't, I don't. I'm, I'm trying, <laughs> All convenience. I'm trying to figure it out. I think he just, you know, makes up the rules as he goes along. I I would agree with you. Watch future episodes. <laughs> So Jack goes back to his device, sees that Hannah is executed in it, and he realizes that something went wrong, apparently. Uh, so now we see that he's trying to change her future. Uh, she figures it out. She's like, what, am I going to die? 
He's like, oh, no, no, it's no, not no, going to no. happen. No, you just stay here. Don't go with me. Stay here. Call in Nazi yeah. sick. He's like, I really yeah. shouldn't have told you that I was a time cop. Yeah, <laughs> you know, right? Oops. So Jack breaks into the lab, smashes the laptop. Reinecker busts him and then nails Jack with a gun. He's like, you're using guns the wrong way to all the Nazis, and he just butts him with it. <laughs> uh, they pull up to the field for the launch. Hitler is there. They take Jack's watch from him. He's getting ready to kill him. Hannah kills the soldier instead. Then she gets shot in the arm. Jack holds Reinecker by gunpoint, but he's too busy checking on Hannah, in which he then gets hit with a pipe in the back of a truck. Jack stops Hannah from launching the missile after Reinecker gets taken out. Stops her from not launching the missile. Yeah, yeah, what, from stopping stops, the launch. Stops the stop stops, of the... Stops the, <laughs> stops the launching of yeah. the missile, right? So, No, she... She stops the stopping of the launch. It launches. It launches, right? Yeah. yeah. She was. And Jack she, stops it. So she Once was. He stops. She was going to stop it, and, and he, then he stops, stops her, her from stopping it. <laughs> yeah, raises Who's the on first? To me is that if he already took the uranium out of it, why did he even? Why go? the fuck did he do that? Yeah. Right? <laughs> why did no, he even no. show up? It launches. It has to launch. He says it's history. It launches. So on he basically went so that he could stop her, basically from trying to stop the launch. I thing. guess. There we go. You'll That's have to ask the writers. I'm sure they had it. Yeah. <laughs> well, the great thing is the Nazis kill Reinecker, yeah. uh, and then uh, Jack launches a jeep with explosives at the stands that all the Nazis were in. They run That's away. That's right. He had to uh, get rid of the accelerated fuel or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And... So he did have to go. Yep, it's funny because like true. the yeah. missile just looked like a normal V2 rocket. Yeah, too. it didn't look like anything crazy. Jack lays one on Hannah because that's what he does, and then he warps <laughs> back. And I'm, then, I'm still shocked they had all these Nazi like regalian outfits and <laughs> laying around. So then, don't he, worry, guys. I yeah. know a guy. <laughs> so he goes back in time to, to the TC in 2007, in which Agent Fuller says, "Oh, I love a man in uniform," <laughs> which is really <laughs> creepy because. She's in, she has a Nazi fetish. She I mean. does have a Nazi fetish. I mean, we established that no matter what timeline she's in, she has a Nazi <laughs> fetish. She likes to be oppressed. Yeah. <laughs> Jack then tells, was it her? I think he says, how about we get a drink? Yeah. And a little speakeasy in 1926. Yeah, because they kept on talking about how he uh, he goes back, go in, back time in time to avoid much. his problems. Yeah, right. Yeah. But he's that, like, why don't we grab a drink? Oh, where to? A little speakeasy in 1920, you know. And they laugh and walk off, yeah, and that's right the end. The and then she's never irony. seen again. Yep. Right? And then spoiler, she has never seen again. Due to time travel. Yep. Due to time travel, she she got into the wrong Nazi crowd, and then American <laughs> History X came out of it. So yeah, that's episode five. Um, that is I. I did not expect to at least talk 25 <laughs> minutes about Nazis. Space. Yes, you did. Nobody does. That's, yeah, that's how it all. That's how it all starts, right? Uh, but yeah, so that was that episode, uh, and as you can tell from us getting off track a bunch, that it it, it was something. <laughs> I kind of expected a Nazi episode to be a little bit better than this, but then again, I don't know. It was middle of the road. Right? It had a few, it had uh, you know alternate future Nazis took over, evil versions of everyone. I was like, that's all you need when it comes to yeah. time travel Nazis. Yep, yeah, you, gotta, like, fo- right. feel, you have to have that trope at least. Yeah, my, my my thoughts on it really were that. I don't know if they never thought they'd make it out of season one, but I feel like Nazi Germany is something that you you wait a little while. You don't just jump right into it when you have a time travel premise, right? Because I think everyone's just expecting that, right? Like it's oh, got to hey, come out sometime. We, yeah, we got to go to Germany. We got to go to World <laughs> War Two. Yeah. So hey, anyway, hey. That, that's that's something to keep in mind when we review then all all episodes and we do we do our overall review. I'm just glad they haven't went to a timeline where. That is in an area with predominantly white people because he has enough trivial fitting in as it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, oh, no, we have to go yeah. to, you know, Kenya yeah, in exactly. uh, 1782. Uh-oh. Guys, yeah. I'm going to have to really do my research on this one. Yeah. Oh, no, guys. <laughs> I mean, you can't even beat up someone and take their clothes at that time. You know, it's just, oh, no, he's he's regular. That's okay. It's not like Quantum <laughs> Leap. You he's know, the best. Yeah, he's that's the true. Best. He is the he best. He's the best at what he does. Yeah, the so. the neighbor from that '70s show has assured me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, as as always, podrose dot com. Check out some of the awesome other shows on there as well. Jeff, you got a couple on there. 
Tell, Char- tell Charlie to, you know, finally get the newest episode of Class Action Heroes oh, out. I'll resort to threats. Yeah, definitely. Sexual threats. Oh, uh, that's how we always get them. Hell yeah. Patreon.com slash podbros. Use our Amazon link. TEE.PUB slash LIC slash podbros. That gets you into our T public page. Still no uh, Van Damme shirts up there, but we're getting there. Okay, that's it. I'm John. I'm Jeff. And I'm Dan. You've been listening to another episode of the Jean Pod Van Dam cast. I can't even make a joke because it's like You said Hitler too many Hitler, times already. I was just gonna say we <laughs> ran and passed our Hitler quota. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought we'd see the day. <laughs> Dear Lord.